It's been a few parsecs. Oh, wait, those are not units of time. So, weeks since we looked at the lore of Exodus. Sandwiching the Founders Q&A on September 9th, we have the August 22nd release, Celestial Remnants, Unlocking the Power of the Ancients. And on September 12th, Archimedes Engine, The Power to Save Planets. Let's take these little boogers in order. The Celestial Remnants. If you've read one of these lore blurbs, You've read all of them, and I wish that was just me being harsh, but it's not. There's very little new information in here, and by very little new, I mean one piece of information. We learn there's ancient tech called ghosts. These ghosts are non-sentient, but they are highly adaptive and highly motivated. They filled lots of roles from servant, labor, but most importantly, weapon. The Celestials would unleash these suckers on worlds by the tens of thousands, if not millions. And since they apparently made trillions of them, I suppose they could do that. And they went about the business of cleaning house. Now, the article really doesn't tell us much about them in terms of what they look like, firepower, etc. Just that they were ominous and very effective. In fact, they're still used in the present. Aside from that, that's all this article has. So now we skip ahead to the Archimedes engine. No doubt you recognize Archimedes. He was the Greek inventor and mathematician, circa 287 to 212 BC, did his best work in Syracuse, and is credited with some of the most significant breakthroughs in mathematics, his anticipation of calculus, an approximation of pi, and a whole lot of other things. And we've all heard of the Archimedes heat ray, which while all cool at that, haha, apparently never really existed. So let's just say old Archimedes was pretty prolific in math, science, and invention. So what's an Archimedes engine? Well, that's the thing that drives a planet around. I'm wondering if it's a bit like the asteroid engines in the Mass Effect DLC, Bring Down the Sky. And we're driving around on that horrible little asteroid, turning off those engines. Well, the Archimedes engine flies planets around. It's what the ancients used to move planets into their habitable zone. And that is your tidbit of lore for this article. Now, in a previous video, we did mention that the tie-in novel from Peter F. Hamilton is now available, and I will not give any spoilers of any kind, except to say, if you want to know real deep dive lore in this universe, that's where you start. It isn't just that this is someone writing some lore based on what Archetype Entertainment has, Hamilton is deeply involved in creating the lore for Exodus. So what you're going to get in this book is canon. And let me just say, what you see in these lore blurbs is nothing compared to what this novel has. The entire Exodus universe is way more complex and varied than anything we've seen so far. Haven't gotten through the book yet, but where I'm at, I'm enjoying it. It has been quite a while since I've read a sci-fi novel, and I have no major complaints. Well, I have one major complaint, but I won't mention that because of spoilers. Let's just say it has nothing to do with the Exodus universe, just one of those little technicalities that bugs me. Would I recommend this before buying the game? Sure. It changes your entire perception of the Exodus universe. Hey, and you get to see those ghosts in action. So what do you think? Reading the book? Enjoying it? Wishing these guys would actually show gameplay? Maybe drop the next companion? Let's hope they get there soon. So leave us a comment below and remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.